this is exercise 8 about center of buoyancy so question number one a box shaped vessel of displacement 1640 ton is 50 meter long 10 meter wide and 8 meter high so let's do the marking here suppose this is uh, 50 meter and this is 10 meter and this height is 8 meter the displacement is given the displacement is 1640 ton we need to find the kb that is a center of buoyancy from keel in salt water if she is on an even keel and upright let me just underline this the even keel means suppose this is the water line here the length throughout this water line is same so the vessel is a first of all the vessel is box shape and secondly uh, uh, vessel is not a trim even keel means trim is a zero trim is a zero that means the vessel is at even keel well in this case we need to find first what is going to be draft so let me mark here suppose this is the draft and i can write with x so we know if this is x this is going to be underwater volume the underwater volume underwater volume just let me correct this underwater volume is length that is 50 breadth 10 and this is x well the unit is going to be meter meter and meter so the unit is cubic meter now the displacement the displacement we know very well that the density is equal to mass over volume that means the mass is equal to volume into density so here instead of mass I will use weight or displacement is nothing but underwater volume and instead of density I can instead of this I can use relative density is the same thing so underwater volume is there 50 into 10 into x and this is relative density well in the question let's go up here and find out the vessel is in salt water we know that uh, relative density of salt water is 1.025 so what does it mean by relative density rd is 1.025 actually that is the ratio or we can say the density is 1.025 ton per cubic meter it's same thing so this displacement is equal to the displacement given in the question now what we have to do just equate that 50 into 10 into x into 1.025 is equal to 1640 well let's examine the unit so here is meter meter and meter and this 1.025 I can write ton per cubic meter basically it gets cancelled and the unit is ton so this ton is equal to this ton okay just let me remove this we don't generally write like this now we need to find the value of x so the value of x here is nothing but 1640 divided by 50 into 10 into 1.025 so now let's use the Kelsey I think if you have the Kelsey you can do it this way or simply let me 1640 divided by uh, 50 into 10 into 1.025 back it close 
I get this 3.2 meter. So if we look up this diagram, this distance is 3.2. This is 3.2 meter. So what is going to be the KB? KB is the geometrical center. Then the value of KB will be half of this graph x by 2 or simply 1.6 meter. Now let's do this question number 2. A box shaped vessel is uh, 60 meter, 10 meter and 10 meter. So this is 60 meter, this is 10 meter and this is also 10 meter. That means the height is 10 meter and the length is 10 meter and this is the width. This is also 10 meter. Floats in dock water of RD 1.020 at even keel. So even keel means the draft is same and the there is no trim. The draft is 6 meter. So let me just put it here. The draft is 6 meter and the RD is 1.020. We need to find the KB in dock water of RD 1.004. So we first we need to find what is the displacement. Well, displacement in 1.020 will be underwater volume into relative density. This I have already explained in previous question, but just for sake of reference, density is equal to mass over volume. So the mass is volume into density. So this mass we can replace it with the displacement this as underwater volume and the density is we can take as relative density and we can pretty solve this question. So the displacement in 1.020 density is underwater volume and now this is the term for underwater volume 60 into 10 into 6 that is the underwater volume because the draft is 6 meter into 1.020 and the unit is going to be ton. Let me explain this. Here the unit is meter, meter and meter and this is relative density which doesn't have unit but this is equal to ton per cubic meter. So obviously the unit is in tons. Now let's find what is the draft in rd 1.004 suppose the draft is uh, say x so 1.004 the draft will be 60 into 10 into x into 1.004 tons well if you see the vessel is at even keel here and vessel we obviously we have to assume that vessel is at even keel here we ha you have not loaded anything, neither discharged or shifted, so the displacement is going to remain same. So this displacement and this displacement is same. All we have to do, we can equate, and the first we should write like this, 60 into 10 into x into 1.004, I think, yeah, this is 004, 1.004 is equal to this displacement this is 60 into 10 into 6 into 1.020 now let's cancel this is cancelled this is cancelled i get this x i can write x is equal to 6 into 1.020 divided by 1.004 1 so this will give me draft in rd 1.004 well let me do the punching part 6 into 1.020 divided by 1.004 so it's 6.0956 6. we can round off like this now this is the draft so if this is the draft here and this is more 
actually earlier it was 6 now it is 6.0 so suppose this is the water line here all you have to do you have to find kb so this is the draft kb is going to be half of that so let me just mark here so kb is nothing but x by 2 now this is 6.0956 divided by 2 so i get 3.0478 or i can round off to 3.04 and the 7 i can round off to 8 meter well that's the answer now if we see carefully these two examples they are about box shape vessel that's a very uh, easy shape to understand and to build the concept after that there will be more complicated problems